This is the mother knucker. It's a serious, serious mother knucker. I'm Nick Morgenstern of Morgenstern's Finest Ice Cream, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make some pro ice cream. What I have here is some cream, sugar, and corn syrup scalding. I'm gonna temper that into some sugar and some milk powder. I use milk powder, it's a natural emulsifier, so it naturally helps to make the ice cream base smoother and a little bit more creamy. And then we're gonna pour about half of our scalded dairy inside. The ice cream that we make at Morgan Stearns has no eggs, so it's a Philadelphia style. The eggs have a tendency to make the ice cream richer, but also block the flavor release on your palate. And then we're gonna go back in the pot and bring it up to about 160 degrees. Make sure that everything is emulsified. As soon as that happens, then we can add it to the peanut butter. I'm using Jif, we, you can use Skippy. Those are the peanut butters that work the best. They really have that peanut butter flavor, I think. So now we're gonna strain in the chinois. Passing it through a chinois is gonna get anything, any impurities, anything that didn't emulsify completely. Make sure that you have something really smooth. Right now the base is gonna be very strong peanut butter flavor. We just need to add in our milk. So that's gonna be cold milk right out of the fridge to help the base cool down. So right now my ice cream base is kind of warm. It's like room temperature. We'll ice it down to 38 degrees and then we can go ahead and freeze it. What I have found for making ice cream at home is that actually this machine gets you the best results. Old fashioned bucket of ice with salt, a cylinder inside spinning 12 minutes. Whereas some of those intermediate priced machines up to about $1,000. They just don't freeze the ice cream quickly enough. What you wanna do is make sure that the cylinder is in the bucket first, a couple of inches of ice at a time, and then you need to be really generous with your kosher salt. Probably something like a quarter cup on every layer. You need more salt than you think. This is really important because this is what drops the temperature so that your ice cream is gonna freeze. We're gonna pour our chilled ice cream base into the cylinder, and then with these guys, the cylinder spins, the blade doesn't move. So don't be fooled at home if that seems strange. It seems strange to me too. So you wanna let this run for 10 to 15 minutes. Keep an eye on it after the 10 minute mark. You don't wanna overspin it. And it should be pretty soft and smooth like this. You're gonna put this into your freezer and let it set for four to six hours. But this is done. This is as frozen as it's gonna get in the machine. This caramel sauce right here is like a really classic vanilla caramel. We're gonna add some Picoso peanuts. This is my favorite peanut in the world. It comes from San Antonio, Texas. These are Spanish red skin peanuts. You can see that it should be almost like one-to-one -one volume of peanut to caramel in the sauce here. So we're gonna go ahead and scoop a generous portion of this on top of our ice cream. At Morgan Stearns, we do this a lot. Our pistachio ice cream has pistachios added to it right before we scoop it. The flavor of all of those things, the texture of all those things is gonna be better enjoyed at room temperature. And then when you go to make your ice cream scoop, you can see that that's gonna swirl inside. You should have lots of nuts and caramel. This is the Mother Knucker peanut butter ice cream with our red skin roasted Spanish peanuts and lots and lots of caramel scooped together a la minute. It's intense. This is an intense flavor. Boom. I love peanut butter ice cream.